That's because information travels beyond boundaries. And on this morning on ITV, we guarantee unbiased analysis on topical issues. That will educate you. Entertain you. So, join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Every Sunday to Thursday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. on your ultimate news and current affairs program on television this morning on ITV TMR. Join us. Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about the 2020 party primaries in view. Yes, INEC, the good, the timetable already for a do September. And of course, all those states that have their own bond. But what concerns us right here, right now, this particular moment, is a do 2020. And of course, how, when, what will the primaries look like? But what is happening right now in a do state? You've heard about Congress has been held by some parties, and uh, you heard some of the stories, some of them not so palatable, why some quite palatable. With me here in the studio to talk on this, I have uh, Barrister Douglas Omogwi, a legal practitioner. It's a Barrister, pleasure. welcome to the show. It's a pleasure. Good morning. All right. Today, very close to him is Samuel Ehigiatoa. You know him already, but he's called Annalise, a very vibrant activist. Samuel, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mr. And yeah. next to me, it's a, 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 a politician, political analyst, an architect. Yeah, a vibrant youth. Join me to welcome Theodos Erabo. Welcome to the show, Theodos. Thank you very much. Okay. Good morning, viewers. Okay. And of course, Happy New Year to all of you. So this is our first time for this year, 2020, my own edition of TMI. So Happy New Year. I want to start off from you, Theodos. The timetable have been spelled out and parties are beginning to work. Some Congress being held people are looking forward to primary. Now talking about a dusted political terrain, what are your opinions and views, knowing fully well that primaries are around the corner? I think uh, it's another time and another era for politicking again. And Thank God, because of the scenario that is playing out, both in the ruling party, the APC, and the PDP. And luckily enough for the PDP, we can see that the PDP will be going to an election with a session of the APC. Because with the look of things, there is no way the governor's camp will ever work with the national chairman's camp. Uh, you don't know and about that. No you are not in the party. No, he's everywhere. You are not in the party. We, Anything seen, can happen in no, politics. We, we have seen yeah. the governor coming out, reading out his riot acts mm -hmm. against the national chairman. Mm -hmm. there, there, is nothing, there is nothing to be hidden. The battle is already in the marketplace. It's not just, it's not, it's not an intra-party battle again. It has gone out. You can see the national chairman doing his own you can see the governor doing this, which I think is a welcome development for the state because uh, the battle to fight Godfatherism have just started. That's one side. And other, it, I think is a, is a good opportunity for the PDP to take over the state again. Okay, I, I, I will come back to you. Do many people will differ in your opinion? Well, Samuel, you heard him. Take it off from that. Well, listen, what I like about uh, the situation we have right now is that you have to understand that what is happening in APC right now is called a revolutionary grant. And why a revolutionary grant? I mean, the new brigade is trying to overrule the old brigade. But we should not forget, elders always have something to say. And we are bound to respect the elders. So what the, the present ruling administration is doing in trying to sideline or trying to ignore the policy of leaders and elders. It will be a very, very tough battle, but it is also an easy battle. Why is it an easy battle? We have a Congress coming up. We have the primaries coming up. The PDP has just done the Congress. They still have primaries ahead. And we all know how primaries is in, in, in the state and in the politics of Nigeria. It is here and there, 
a ranking, a ranking, you know. Mm. So we are waiting for the Congress of the APC. After the Congress, we wait for the primaries. And uh, why I said it is very easy. You know, like in APC, there have been series of suspensions, suspensions, and suspensions. Mm. And the suspensions are very, very good. Why? Because it makes us easily to know who and who can suspend who at what time at the right time mm. due. Now the national chairman is acclaimed to be suspended, but he still holds his the knife, he still holds the, the handle yeah. of the cutlass. Mm. Because any Congress, any primaries that is going to be conducted in a do state must be instructed from the national body. It has nothing to do with APC. It's, it's a constitutional of most of the party. So, someone that's going to conduct an election for you, that's going to send the people down to come and conduct an election, and you are fighting that same person, how do you expect to be able to defeat that person? No, right. I believe there's a reason why we see most of the advert of our, our president governor going around the town without the APC logo. Because on the other hand, I knew that the National Working Committee also suspended him as a vice versa. In that situation, I think the only option, if an intelligence must be played, is to look for another party to contest. Why? Because what? as a suspended person from the party, how do you get a form to contest in that party? If okay. All right. Now, now that is your own opinion because they have it's that own views. <laughs> and maybe opinion. that is the reason why Carlos uh, <laughs> is saying that it's right for PDP to kick. Yes, yes. It, 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 anyway, it is an open ground right I'll now. I'll come back to you. So I'll, either I'll, APC or PDP to take over okay, the state. Okay, fine. I, I'll come back it to you, Sam. Douglas. We don't yes. have to deceive okay. ourselves. So about what that. do you feel about all this? Because it's getting more and more intense of in course. Edo State. Uh, first and foremost, I will speak as an Edo person mm. and also as an officer of the law. Yeah. Uh, the problems that have been bedeviling the Edo State polity is not welcoming. It's not welcoming. It's a sad situation. So, in my own perspective, I feel that the political atos in the terrain, in the scene, in the scene of the Edo State politics, or polity as the case may be, they should try as much as possible to look at ways they can turn swords into plushes. Because the time is of the essence. And these actions of theirs, whether you like it or not, it is sending, or they are sending a subconscious message, a subliminal message, which is negative, message. which is negative in nature to the Edo people and also the voters. So I am of the opinion that they should see ways that they can ameliorate the situation, that they can curtail or curb the situation, so that we, the Edo people, we will have a clearer picture, a crystal picture of who we are uh, to choose as our leaders in the forthcoming election. So I feel that it is pertinent, it is really important that these issues be ironed out and you know, be resolved as soon as possible. Yeah. All right. Now let's talk about your Congress because you are talking about APC having this squabble. But there are some reports that the Congress by the PDP in some quarters is somewhat not really encouraged in terms of imposition, in terms of violence. You just name it. So how can they now compete favorably uh, with their uh, ruling party in Edo State? It's all about the primaries. Don't forget about uh, that. I say anyways, any person that is telling you that there is a lot of struggle or fight, in fighting the PDP will not be telling you the truth. The truth of the matter is that know that even in your mouth you have the mm. tongue and your teeth mm. and at times there is conflict your tongue can your teeth can mistakenly cut the tongue mm. there, any, there is no way any person will go for an election and lose and say oh i actually lost there must be, be, to be fair no, no, even when it's fair no matter how fair, fair game. have you ever so, seen a government that, the, that, that, that the person that lost will go and shake the other they must go to court it's because Nigeria politics is a game Nigeria. of interest that's Nigeria politics yes. it's a game of interest if, for example I'm running for the state you at my office now and if maybe because uh, something had happened and I didn't get it, you will always finger something. Okay, because I fought with social person, maybe that's why True. I didn't get it. That is Nigeria politics for you. And this whole issue that you're talking is just one local government, just a circle east. Mm -hmm. And that's the only that's the only issue. Okay, where is the, the court injunction that they brought is from a circle east. Do you have any other place? So why are you saying there is crisis? And, mm -hmm. and because we are a party governed by law would have said, okay, let's 
stop it, Sakwa. Let's continue with our LG. We said, no, let's resolve this issue so that we can move as a family. Because Edo State is for us to take. With the way, because nobody is complaining that, oh, the government is performing and uh, Oshomola is saying the government is not no, no, they are fighting. They are fighting because of greed. Political interest. It's not because, oh, uh, I told him to go and build social suite for the masses. He didn't do it. No. The masses is not even in the picture. It's just greed that is happening. It's not that, oh, we are seeing uh, universities, our head setters are working, and that's the core. No, that's not the core. It's not for the common interest of Edolite. The fight is just a greedy fight between two leaders. So that is what I'm telling you. The PDP, we are taking our time. That's why we say we will resolve this. And before you know, we'll go to the LGA congresses, then the state congresses. So that for what you're saying now, there's not like greedy the PDP, your own. There's, there's no issue at all. I just told you it's one local government and it's just one person. I'll come and back it's to easy you. to manage. It's not like, okay, right. there was pocket of violence everywhere. No. All right. Now, uh, Samuel, you get to realize that in Nigerian politics, whenever a time approaches for an election to take place, there seems to be this unease in almost every political party. But it's like predominant in the APC. Now, do you see this escalating into a situation that may spin out of control for the ruling party? I don't think so. Why I don't think so? All these issues that is running right now, mm. after the primaries, we know who is our candidate. The whole issue is over. The fight being fought now is what's called the last fight. Mm. You know, when a, a lion is wounded, it can do and undo. <laughs> you understand me? Mm. When a lion is wounded, it can do and undo. But when the lion leaves the groups after doing and undoing, injured, what happens? He goes far away to start a new colony. So those that are fighting the structure of APC, as at present. They don't know how the structure of APC came aboard. They don't know all the struggles we have gone through. They don't know the unity we have. They just came. They will got to understand that APC is already united from built by the national chairman. He has did a lot of struggles to achieve this aim. I do understand. You use so the word united. Come. If there is <laughs> unity, how come we have factions? It's not a fraction. I because it's a you, you keep using the word you're not fraction. Front. That means the front it's is united right now. Listen, I was yeah. there last year. I told you one point, mm. one point. You have yeah. to understand. Mm. We have groups. Whenever there's election coming, mm. it is definitely that you have different groups. This group is supporting this group, this person. This group is supporting this person. It is always normal. Mm. Like in the APC right now, you have, you have the group they call OSN. That is the Obaseki Shaibu movement, as it is called. We have the EPM, which are the People's Movement. We have this kind of groups. There are even a new group coming up now, which is standing for Gimoyi. There's a group coming up standing for, uh, uh, for uh, the, the, the former deputy governor, Odubu. There's, there's, also, there's also a group standing for POI, which is uh, Isaiah, that just came from PDP. If PDP was so good, why would he come to APC? <laughs> My brother, he's, he's a man to reckon with. Let us tell us the, the truth. The Congress that was done by the PD recently, go and look at it, there's going to be a massive movement to APC. Whether they like it or not. It has already started in, in the Asian land. It has already started in the Eastern land. Let's take it all. We, we heard it all. We saw it all. No, no, no. It's it's so it is already <laughs> going on. That, because their Congress, their Congress was not peaceful as well. They did not even have an issue like the way we APC have an issue. But I promise you, the APC Congress will come, it will come and go, and will have a candidate that is going to retain this uh, state for APC as a ruling party. All right, thank the you. only problem I have is that let those that are not comfortable with APC, let them go to the party they choose. Don't destroy this party for us because you're you are angered because you have an ambition that is not being supported by the general public. Okay. Because the advantage of PDP over APC, there is always this, you know, APC we have, we like to fight. We like to be the leader. We like, everybody wants to be the chair. But in, in, in PDP, they have leadership. They have this respect to leadership. So most time when they have issues, rancors, like what happened in this Congress, I find it was a shameful Congress. Let us be sincere with ourselves and tell ourselves the truth.
I don't look at it. I'm not sentimental on this issue. You are. But the problem they had now, the, the good thing they had was that the leaders was able to call those people together. I said, right. that's okay. If you're not going, you say you are not agreeing. Okay, we're giving to this person, even a neutral person. I love right. that aspect. All right. You love and that if, aspect? Yeah, I love that aspect indeed. Okay. Because it happens in my world too, in world too. Mm. Those that contested, none of them got the ticket. But the chairman presently now. A neutral person entirely was given the chairman okay. of PDP. I'll come back to So if APC can learn to respect the leadership of the party, can learn to leave the aspect of struggle we were before, they still believe we are in struggle. We are not more in struggle. They tell we are in struggle when we are battling to come to power. Now we are in power. We're supposed to be able to exercise leadership. But some persons are of the opinion that there is still so much struggle in the APC. Yes. You react to that after yes. the, you just That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That they should learn that there is no more struggle for PDP. Yes, the leadership. That's good. Samuel, I'll come back. I'll come back. Now, now, Douglas, we've had a series of pockets of violence here and there. And we don't have a primary yet. The tent about then wasn't really clear, but now it's clear. From what is happening in those state, do you see an increase in this violence tendency by some party members? Of course, I do. Mm. I really do, because uh, the, the stage at which we are now, mm. at the moment, it's, it's, it's really a difficult one. Uh, I don't see the, the stakeholders or the political actors uh, trying to turn their swords to plushes. The, the battle line has already been drawn, and they are all out for war. So I don't see a situation whereby there will be a reduction or uh, a kind of a mild uh, a tune to this uh, political turmoil that we are experiencing just now. Uh, but uh, what I would say is this. The, the, the political actors, as the case may be, they have a constitutional right. They have that freedom to express themselves, especially a situation whereby they, as the political actors, they have the backing of the people. Because some of uh, a particular part, act, actor in this, uh, in this scene, in this political scene, is of the opinion that he is popular, yeah. that he is well grassroots that everybody, as far as uh, those states is concerned, they are with him. So I'm of the opinion that if actually you, for peace to reign, actually for peace to reign, you have to concede and let bygones be bygones. In other words, leave that political party, let them do whatever they want. Because in your own opinion, in your own perception as a person, you, are, you, you have the impression that you are popular. So why don't you defer to another political party and try your, your race? That is what I think. Because at the end of the day, I don't believe in political defection. I don't believe in uh, cross carpeting or the campaign from one political party or another. Because I feel that the reason why you are in a political party is because you share the same ideology. You share the same principles with that political party. But in a situation whereby there will now be anarchy, political anarchy, it's uncalled for. So, as a man of peace, as a man who believes in peace and tranquility, it is pertinent that you bow out from the show and go to somewhere else where, or another path, platform where you think you are popular and you have the, the backing of the people to contest. Right. And at the end of the day, if the electoral process is it's well and good, you will be returned oh, as uh, the, the person who contested for the election. So that's, what, that's my opinion, actually. Oh, 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 okay, now, uh, uh, let me come to you, uh, uh, Theodos. It's approaching. It starts approaching. Parties, they are making plans. They are calculating, dotting their I's, and, of course, crossing their T's. But uh, uh, one highly placed personality uh, accused uh, uh, your party of being the, 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 the cause behind all this rancor in a dual state. What are your views of that? Well, what do I call that? Mm. You know, we'll talk about the, the, the squabble we're experiencing right now. Like, like I just That said, PDP, they do have a hand in it. No, no, it's, it's crystal clear. I yeah. just told you, mm. the reason for the fight is greed. A dual lights are not even being carried along. It's mm -hmm. just power play among them. I like what my brother said, that PDP is a leadership party. Mm. We are the party for the people. 
we know how to galvanize support True. from grassroots and to the top. But you don't talk about the position of candidates in no, your party, there, there's your no, Congress. You, you just heard what he said. He said, when there was Ranko, he said, okay, instead of this, uh, that, okay, you go. You go. In his word, that's what he said. Yes, there wasn't that yeah. But that, that's, that, that's, that's clearly leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership is taking 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 over issues over issues not the one that you start fighting start if fight there was leadership in this it would have degenerated of course, of course. Yeah. that is the truth but let me let me quickly come to what you're saying as the governor of the state is the leader of the party forget if there no. is a national chamber no, or no, 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 no. you also said something about no. suspension <laughs> so let me tell you there is no registration in the national there is no register in the state. I'm a member of the state working committee. My registration is in my ward. My membership is in my ward. Don't tell me the national suspends. The national doesn't have the capacity to suspend anybody. If you must suspend anybody, it must it's be from the ward. Because the I'm a party person, I'm telling you, it's from the yes, ward. So the national cannot suspend the governor. The national does not have authority over the governor. I want to I want to state that clearly. You are very and it's none of my business. Yes. I pray that they fight and they kill themselves. <laughs> so yeah, no, 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 that is what we, the PDP, were excited about. That is why I said they should the keep fighting themselves. At the end of the day, True. we will come from the back and take the power. It's just like a story of, okay, uh, two lions fighting. They've already killed an animal. Instead of going to feast on it, they started fighting themselves. They said, it. And took the meat away. And mm. that is what will happen in Edo politics come 2020. Edo is for PDP to take. Edo has been PDP. PDP mm -hmm. has been Edo. We have your own opinion. No, no, I'm telling you, we have to take our thoughts. 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 See, let me tell you. Oh, uh, was there, yeah. This is no. my now. Edo is PDP yeah. state government. Yeah. 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 And then he had no symbol when yes. the symbol came in. History is just merely replaying that itself. Okay, fine. I will come back to you now. From what he said, he said uh, at those states is PDP's for the ticket because what is happening in your party, react to that. Listen to me. Even the issue in APC. All right, now you just hold on. I want to go for a break. When we return, we'll continue with this discussion at the 2020 party primaries in view. Do stay tuned. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, it's all about Edo 2020 party primaries in view. And uh, Mike, uh, I'm just what candidates can you imagine that? My analyst or panelists, they've been talking so, so tough to the extent that sometimes they talk against each other, they talk for each other. Just going to show that they have Edo in their heart of hearts, okay? They really want things to work out well. Well, we were with you, uh, uh, Douglas, before we went on that break. Okay, with you, uh, uh, Sam, before we went on that break. Go ahead, react to what he said. The truth of the matter is this. SPC have come to stay in a state, whether anybody likes it or not. I'm telling you why, because we've seen a lot of what they have been able to show to the people. The Edo people have been able to see the democratic impartations of the party upon their lives. Let's leave this rancor. It's an internal rancor. The internal rancor does not stop the development, the impactations, the APC government have come to give Edo people. So, so there's no where you go right now that you will not see the praises for APC in Edo. The only problem we have right now is that there is an issue between one big lion and there is an issue with a new lion. Like what my brother said, he said the governor is, is the party leader of the state. No, it is not like that in the APC. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not like that in the APC. Listen to me. When Oshomole was, was the governor, he was not the party leader. 
But Tommy Hime was the leader. No. The party listed why Tommy. Until he decamped. Why did you not say Yegu was the leader? No. no. Yegu was the national list chairman. Now. Why did you not positions. give it to Yegu? I have the floor, please. <laughs> I, did not, I did not obstruct <laughs> you when you returned. Please continue. So let us listen to each other so that we can be able to understand. Because when you argue, you will not be able to understand ourselves. There was somebody who was the party leader. The only reason the party leadership went to Oshomole was when Tommy Hime left the party to PDP. There was a vacuum. That vacuum was occupied. And immediate after, immediate after, the governor of the administration came into power, which there was an agreement should remain the leader of the party in the state. He remains the leader of the party before he became even the national chairman. He was the leader of the party of the state before he became a national chairman. Then automatically now, as the party leader of the state, I do you understand, and also the national party leader, national chairman, at least I believe there is some respect that is due to him. He has done us a lot of good in Edo State. It is not about confederation. It is about respect for leadership. It is about respect for our elders that have built this party. And the issue of respect is that's not boiling into yes, what we call destabilization, destabilization of the politics. So now, why I remain on the ground? Why I remain on the ground? Resolved. The, it must be to be resolved. It will be resolved. If it would have been resolved in another way, apart from Congress and primaries, it would have been resolved already. We know the stubborn side. We know how the Senate have come. We know how the House of Rep has come. We know how the presidency has spoken on this issue. We know how the, the, our, our monarch, the Omanam Banado, the has spoken on this issue. But we know who was the stubborn person that said, I will not accept. Even the National Court Committee even set up a committee to come and reconcile the people. We also know the people that said, no, we will not accept. So if you don't want to accept on the round table, definitely what happens in politics, if you don't accept on the round table, you accept in the feed. All right. Case. And definitely, it, what my brother was saying, that uh, Edo is a PDP state. No, I don't agree no more. Before, Edo was a PDP state, yes. We are passed through the struggle and the revolution. We have taken them off the way. They brought this country no rot. So we took them the rot away. We are now building a fresh state, a, a fresh uh, development state. And the Edo people know the purpose of their voting APC in Edo State. And they have seen the, the goodness of APC. That is why, even with the rank costing going on, you call it fractional chairman, you call it the chairman in power, they are still mobilizing people to themselves. All right. PDP has still the capital to join APC. Okay. In but, the same rank that but is still, still going on. But still, so it tells don't, you. Don't the forget power also. Of the, don't, for, don't forget also the beginning of what will I say the, the, the power loss of PDP in the national level, so to speak, instead of with dissatisfaction, right? Instead of with yeah. fighting here and instead of a disagreement here and there. Yeah. And bam, it went to the APC. Yes. For what he said, history repeating itself. You just hold on. Let me go to Douglas, in which you just right. have the last say on this talk. Or well, you have one minute each later to summarize. Douglas, quickly, with this kind of power tussle, with this kind of power, uh, testing of power, so to speak, do you see people coming out in mass to participate in the election? Well, uh, we will have to look at it from two dimensions. Um, the thing is this. From the look of things, the way things are at the moment, as far as those state policy is concerned, uh, people are getting uh, uh, disinterested in the, in the whole, yes, in the politics. Yeah, because uh, they, they feel, in their opinion, they feel that uh, as far as the administration is concerned, things have been fine. Things have been going on well and good. But uh, they are not pleased with the fact that there is a turmoil in the ruling party. So, and like I said earlier, this will send a negative subconscious message to an average Edo voter, which I am of the opinion that this issue should be sorted out as soon as possible so that the Edo people will have a proper and clear vision of who to choose as far as uh, the next leadership or the next uh, leader is concerned. So I, I think uh, the, the turmoil that is uh, going on right now is, is an issue. It's an impediment to a, a prosperous uh, uh, free and fair election in Edo State. 
However, however, we have uh, witnessed a situation whereby political parties, after so many turmoil, they come back and assemble yes, and produce a formidable force. Uh, it has happened while uh, PDP was in power, before they experienced uh, an interregnum or a weak uh, center at, in Abuja, uh, you understand. Uh, while uh, well, Lucien Obasanjo was the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, right. things were really perfect with PDP. Because after so many rancor, so many uh, uh, disturbances, they have been able to, or they were able to resolve issues. Mm -hmm. So I feel that uh, this issue is not far fetched. The uh, APC, the state APC, can be able to resolve their issues amicably. And uh, after the primaries, they, they can pose a very formidable force as far as uh, those state uh, gubernatorial election is concerned. Sorry, no. yes. All right, now, gentlemen, you have one minute each to conclude this discussion. You know this discussion is a continuum. We are still watching the terrain. Whatever happens, we come here, we'll talk about it to feel the pulse of the people. One minute each, what do you think should be the way forward? Because the primaries is approaching very fast. Congress, some parties have done theirs, but others are still going to do their own. So, over to you, Theodos. The, the beauty is that I was surprised when my brother said uh, APC have governed Edo perfectly. I bet to disagree with that. Because as you speak right now, Edo is one of the most indebted states in the country. It's the second. You can't say borrowing. Do you have proof of that? Yes, I have. <laughs> if you go and check the debt no, record true. of the nation, after Lagos, that's not true. It's not Edo. That's not true. So moment borrowing upon borrowing for a substandard right. road that does not serve three months. No. You can't tell me APC have governed Edo. What, what they have done, they've mortgaged the future of our children. They've mortgaged our future just to just, just to share the money. Because right. actually, there's yeah, no more. That, that was a no, small thing. There's no more. That was a small thing. There's no more. 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 There's what about you say it's one of people in DFA? No, that's what he said. He said so the government ahead. said they don't want to share. Go ahead. So that means yes. they have you, have, you have one minute. Wilson, whether yeah. we like it or not. Yeah. APC have come to stay in Edo State. Yeah. Take it or leave it. I've got, I will always keep saying that. Whether with the Ranko, it's not by ringing. Is it by ringing? It's by vote. He has just one minute. confident. One minute. Is it by ringing? Listen to me. Listen to me. He has one minute. I'm very confident because it is already an APC state. And it will remain an APC state, whether you like it or not. It not my brother, listen to me. Well, we, have that it was we have that bad luck. We have that bad luck. We have flushed that bad luck. I got it bad luck. I just tired. Let me talk, my brother. <laughs> whether we like it or not, even with the rancor, what gives us the confidence, what gives us the hope that we are still going to retain this state is because of what we are observing. Because you can write Listen to me. like you have been mm -hmm. doing. Sir, what is <laughs> <what's laughs> <on this> now? <laughs> the current what's on this now, bro? The current, please. I'll be respecting you. Go ahead, one minute. One minute. So one minute. We will not interject yeah. anymore. Go ahead, so please. please. Okay. Respect is reciprocal. Yeah. From what I have observed, from the Congress of the PDP alone on, on their own, because mm -hmm. I was on the committee observation, from what I have observed alone, the rancors they have too in their Congress is going to dispatch most of them even to APC as well. So automatically giving us a more formidable force giving us a more support from the, 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 the PDP people to join the APC, to make PDP even, uh, APC more stronger. So on the other okay. hand, what I beg for right now yeah. is that the present governor, the present administration of government of Baseki should please and please, as I've been begging since last year, call the leaders together. Thank you. Call the leaders He's together. He's not the only leader Don't of glass. this party. Yes. It's not a one-man one party. Minute. Call the leaders together, Thank you. unite them together, so that we can have a good Congress, so that we can have a perfect primary. Thank you, Samuel. That will produce who will be the next governor of those states. Thank and you, because Samuel. APC will remain at those states, whether he's with us or not. Thank you, Samuel. Uh, one minute, Douglas, quickly, because we have okay. Casey devices. Uh, like I said earlier, I am speaking the art of the Edo people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a man of peace as well. Uh, so I will always uh, promote peace and tranquility as far as those state politics is concerned. So I'm of the opinion that they should try as much as possible to resolve these issues amicably. However, if that cannot be possible, I will advise the stakeholders, the political actors in the terrain, that if they know that this issue will cause so many violence and bloodshed, the person in question should 
you know, defer to another political party because right. he feels that he is popular. Thank you. And you understand? Thank so you, thank you. He can defer and, you know, and test his popularity. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Simple. I appreciate the wonderful analysis. Our time is up. I know you have so much to say. It's a continuum. I mean, still invite you to throw more light on this. But there's an adage that if two brothers fight themselves to the death, a stranger will take over their inheritance. The one that say is enough for the ones. We'll be right back with Casey Devices, one of our sponsors.